Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In this video, we will learn how we can query our Firebase real-time database. And the very first query is select star from the table name that we use in our SQL database. And the equivalent to this in Firebase real-time database is the get instance, get reference and the node name that we already did in the previous video. So whenever we get a reference to a node, we get everything inside that particular node and it is equivalent to select star from table name. The next query is when we want to fetch an specific author and you can see I have made some changes to demonstrate the queries. I have added city and votes in every author. So assume we want to fetch this particular author. So in SQL or SQL database, we write select star from table name and we put the ID of the row or the entity that we want to fetch. But in Firebase real time database, we can directly go to that particular node by using the child function. So we can write here child and we can pass the specific ID that we want to fetch. Now it is equivalent to select star from authors where ID equals to particular ID. Now at the bottom I have the listener for single value event and here I am getting the author because it will give a specific node of authors and we do not need to loop this time. So I am pushing the first value to our author mutable data that we are fetching in our fragment. So what I did is I created this function. You can see fetch filtered authors and I am calling this function from our authors fragment and I disabled the real time updates for now to demonstrate the queries. So we are calling this function and we are passing the index. So right now it is two and two will go to this case. And here we are learning how we can fetch a specific author from our real time database. So let me show you it is working. So I will run the application and you can see we have the specific author that we just fetched. Now for the next query, we have select star from authors where city equals to some city. So we want to fetch the authors by city. And this time we will fetch multiple authors. So I will delete this thing for now. And I will uncomment our last code. This code I already explained in the previous videos. It was used when we were fetching the complete list of authors. So I will uncomment it. Now this time we will get authors from a specific city. So what we will do is we will use order by. So we will add order by child and we want to order by city. As you can see we have a city inside this author node and we are using the city to order by. And after ordering by child, we can write equals to and we want city to be equals to let's say Hyderabad. So here we will write Hyderabad. We also need to pass three from our fetch filtered authors and then we will run the application again. So you can see now we are getting all the authors from Hyderabad only. Now let's move to the next query. Now this time we want to limit the results. So what we do in SQL database is we use the limit keyword. But in our Firebase real time database we will use the function limit to first and we can limit to first two items like this. Now again we will pass four from here to go to the fourth case and we will run the application again. You can see we are getting the first two results only. Now let's move to the other query. And this time we want to fetch all the authors having votes less than 500. So what we can do is again we will order by and we will order by child and this time we will use the votes as child. Let me confirm the key that is votes. So we are ordering by votes this time. 
and after ordering we will use the end at function so we will write end at and we want less than 500 that means end at 500 we need to pass a double value to this function so i have added two double now let's try running this but first we need to put five here to go to the fifth case so here we will put five now let's run the application you can see we are getting all the authors having votes less than 500 now let's move to the sixth query and this time we have a sql query that is where name like a and then percentage that means it will fetch all the authors name starting with a and to do this again we will use order by child every time you want to query you need to use this order by child and then you need to define the child in this case we want to order by name and then we will write start at and here we will pass a but this time we also need to pass end at and we will pass a and then backslash uf8ff this is a unicode character that is after every regular character so we have this query again we will define 6 here like this and then we will run our application to see if it is working or not you can see we have the author's name starting with a we have only one so we covered the sixth query as well now the last query we have is select star from artists where votes less than 500 and city equals to bangalore now the limitation of firebase is we cannot use multiple properties to query the database so this thing is not possible with firebase real-time database so what we can do is we can fetch this query and then from the fetched list we can filter the city by bangalore inside our java code now this is not a good solution but this is the limitations of firebase real-time database so that is all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please hit on that like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye